But there's a crisis among young men. We talked the the Scott Galloway, I believe his name is a New York uh, pro, uh, New York uh, NYU professor at the Stern School of Business, and he was on Bill Maher. Do you ever watch Bill oh. Maher? Bill Maher, huge fan. Love you know. him. Yep. Bill, I know you watch the show all the time. Respect to you, bro. Um, he talks about the crisis that's going around in young around young men, and basically. Um, the most dangerous people in the world are just uh, young men alone, bored on their phones, and they go down rabbit holes of whether it is whether it's porn, whether it's you know political stuff, whether it's religious stuff. They get indoctrinated and on their phones. And uh, to circle back to sexuality stuff, he says that one third of men under thirty have not had sex in the last year. So one third out of men, right? Under 30 of not sex last year. And I, I talked about this at the beginning, how basically the whole premise of this show is to give you guys game out there, right? Mm-hmm. To serve you guys up game so you don't end up as one of these Absolutely. one third of people, incels, not making money, not contributing to society, angry as about the world. What have you learned in that? Like you, you talked about these virgins who are begging me to take their virginity. Yeah, yeah, sure. What are you seeing out there as far as young men go? You know, First of all, over my 22 years in adult, it's changed. It has changed. Like when I first started, um, young guys really had no idea what to do in sex. And um, they were like all over the place. And there was, um, I feel like there may have been more virgins when I first started, to be honest with you. And now I feel like the way that society's progressed and maybe porn has done something to help that, um, There's a lot more people that are like more comfortable with their sexuality, whatever their sexuality may be, whether they, you know, like to dress up as a clown or they like to fuck somebody of the same sex. There's something for everybody out there. Mm -hmm. And the Internet has been able to bring those people together. So I feel that um, there are less people that are not getting laid than there used to be. Um, But that's that's from my personal research. (laughs) Um, and you've done a lot of research. I have so done let's a just lot get... of research. <laughs> I've done a lot of research. And the younger guys are actually fucking better than they used to be. Really? Yeah, I used to not like fucking young guys at all. What do you consider all. a young guy, though? Mm. Um, under 30? Under, under 25. 25. Okay. Under 25, I consider They're doing guy. better. Much better. They're Why much more skilled. Because there's more um, educational videos for them to watch that mm. our industry has created. Yeah. So you think that there's a that's a net positive for it young men? It is a net positive. Absolutely. Do you think there's a net negative, though? Because maybe they're seeing things on porn, the hair pulling, the spitting, the whatever, whatever. That's unrealistic. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things, and unfortunately, we don't have a caveat before you watch a porn um, of like, you know, make sure that everything is good with your partner and communicate. But make sure everything's good with your partner and communicate, you know. Um, not everybody is going to want to, you know, get choked and get their hair pulled and everything. So uh, that's, you know, something that you need to, like, work out with them and have open and honest discussions during or prior to sex. You know, people are always like, oh, you know, I don't want to have these, like, corny discussions, like, before sex, it kills the mood. But you can do it in the middle of sex. You can be like, oh, do you like that? How does that feel? Mm, like, in the middle of sex. Yeah, absolutely. No, like you pull the girl's hair and you're like, did you like that? <laughs> Was that good? Mm. You know, so there's it, a little it can, hot tip for you. Gentlemen yeah, out there no, in the it, can, of sex. it can definitely be like sexy talk and it can be a turn on to communicate during sex. Like, mm. oh, yeah, I like it like that. No, I don't like that. Like, you uh, know, no, so, no, 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 don't yeah. pull on my balls like they're milk cutters, please. Speaking of balls. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, I feel that porn and, you know, just our society in general and the progression is actually helped people be more sexual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Well, thank you for all the work that you do for these young men out mm-hmm. there. You know, I we try to help it. everybody. And I, I will say this. Um, for those young men out there that, you know, the, the stats show the one third of young men, they're not making money. They're, you know, they're, they're on their phones. They're not getting laid. Thank God that there's actual... Uh, strippers and sex workers out there because these young men need to get this aggression out. Yeah. And also they need to have experiences. And if they're already having hard times communicating with women, then um, somebody like a sex worker or a stripper kind of gives them uh, a uh, 
place where they can practice communicating. Outlet. Well, even yeah. just like practice communicating yes. um, and practice like speaking to a woman, you know, mm -hmm. that's very important to communicate yes. your desires, you know, and not just be like, come here, let me fuck you. You know, yes. like, yeah, you, you <laughs> just got to grease the wheels, baby. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.